This is Dan Davies with AbleLink Smart Living Technologies with another four minute tutorial. Today we're gonna to look at the quick start for the Smart Living Desktop. I'll launch the desktop here and it will launch in demo mode the first time. This is how it works when you download the Smart Living Desktop and you install it. It initially is in demo mode until you've activated it. So we're gonna look at activating the desktop in just a moment, but let me give you a quick overview of of a desktop. There are 10 buttons on the desktop right here in the main portion for this individual. This is demo content that allows you to try out different features of the Smart Living Desktop and see how it works. On the left hand side is the quick action panel. On this panel you can place buttons that you want available no matter what level of a person's desktop you've drilled down into. For example, I'm gonna click on a category button on the bottom of the screen here, the sports category, and that takes us down one level. And here are several additional buttons in the sports category. But you'll notice here on the left, the quick action panel hasn't changed. The quick action panel will be available no matter what level you go down into. So it's great for putting common use buttons on there, such as an email button or a music player button. Now once you've drill down into a lower level of the desktop, you can return by clicking the back button here, and that gets you back to the main portion of the individual's desktop. Over on the right-hand side of the screen is where the weather widget is displayed. We have another tutorial that shows you how to use this feature of the program. All right, let's activate this desktop. In the bottom left-hand corner, there's a setup text box. When you click in that text box, the Smart Living Desktop Activation Panel opens. This is where you enter your activation code. Once the code is entered, you click the Activate button. There are two versions of the Smart Living Desktop. One is the Personal Edition and the other is the Agency Edition. In this case, this is the Agency Edition that I just activated. Once you've activated your desktop, you have to exit the program and restart the Smart Living Desktop for the activation to take effect. So I'll restart the desktop now. Now our desktop has been activated. The demo content no longer is displayed. Now we can add users to the desktop. There's also a button on the center of the screen for getting started. That opens up the help dialog with useful information for how to get started with the desktop. In addition, you can access the user manual from that page. But for now, we're gonna go straight to adding a new user for the desktop. In the top left, I click the Add Edit button. This takes us to the User Manager display. This is where you add users, you can edit users, and delete them from the Smart Living Desktop. To add the user, you enter the name of the individual. We're gonna create a desktop here for Han Solo. All you really need is the first name and the last name for an individual, but I'm gonna go ahead and add a picture because that's useful for helping an individual select the correct desktop. I double click the shadowed image here, and now I can navigate on my computer to find a picture. So I happen to have a picture here of Han Solo on the screen, right here. I select it, and now I hit the Save button. I can add additional users, or I can exit now to the desktop, and you'll see that I have a new user's desktop, Han Solo. When I click on it, here's Han Solo's desktop with no content added yet to it. At this point, I would add buttons to the desktop. Check out our other tutorials for learning how to add buttons to the desktop and customizing the desktop. For further information about AbleLink or about any of these Smart Living Desktop programs or the Smart Living Suite, check out our website or email us at the email you see on the screen in front of you. Thanks a lot.